and I copied the main surfaces and assigned them to another layer as you can see under the object system menu I have created a new layer and then assigned them so these are the copied uh, main surfaces I'm gonna use them to create the uh, patterns only and then we will uh, get rid of them um, at this point I'm trying to uh, draw some curves basically trying to capture the uh, design of the pattern let's see yeah from the top view we can add another curve yeah well i will uh, trim convert that surface because it has already four edges and then um for the uh, other surfaces i am duplicating the curves that I projected uh, to create four edge four edged uh, curve layout I will also attach those uh, round uh, round curves as well I'm gonna attach them together to create four sided uh, curve layout and I will uh, use this curve layout to create another square which will give us the main uh, the main uh, layout of the pattern design then we will kind of uh, use this main surfaces to create uh, to create our patterns out of them i mean when creating patterns uh, we gotta obtain main surfaces in alignment with the pattern design um, yeah this is exactly this is exactly why outer edges of the copied surface kind of mimics the pattern layout. There is just a touch condition problem over there and i'm g0 aligning that go and then square things up and now we have we have that surface kind of mimics the existing layout there is of course deviation between a little differences between but it's not that big of a deal we can use as it is uh, well now that we have the base surfaces we can try to create some patterns out of it by using patch precision tool uh, under the object edit menu uh, if you select the tool first and then hit the surface second and slide from left to the right um, while pushing the left mouse button and it will create kind of isoparms uh, kind of you know kind of curve layout um, that we will kind of use them try to try, try to capture the patterns um till it makes sense i try to i try to add uh, or remove isoparms uh, on the surface and stop uh, where it makes sense visually in here i'm attaching these two surfaces together and then gonna use patch precision tool but it it turns out that it it's not gonna it's not gonna work the previous were the previous uh, method was uh, better actually but yeah detaching the surfaces again and recreating the patch precision uh, reusing the patch precision tool again to create the isoparms i mean until it makes sense uh, as a graphically as a visually you can can try to duplicate the edges duplicate the curves which we will do for all of the isoparms over there. Yeah. There is a slight difference between the between the middle of these two surfaces, but no worries, we can we can fix that manually. We can rotate that manually. Yeah. It's getting kind of there, yeah. I have deleted those curves and duplicating again. This kind of makes more sense. I'm I'm trying to analyze the differentiation between the vertical curves, yeah. If I feel something kind of does not make sense, I'm trying to add one more row or delete one more row in the patch precision tool. And now that we have uh, decided this is pretty much visually correct. Um, we can we can duplicate the vertical isoperms as a 
by using duplicate curve tool and yeah from left to the right all the way all the way down it takes a while of course and in the end we have we have this type of curve and uh, network the reason that we have copied the main surfaces was just because of creating this just because of creating these curves then i'm rotating the middle curve between this is pretty much visually correct we we kind of accept that this is the, this is the correct version because we are already trying to capture the feeling of existing design so i mean designing patterns is not of course uh, happening like that way you can you kind of create thousand times and thousand different pattern uh, pattern styles to decide uh, on one thing but there is already the existing design over there we are trying to replicate it and yeah yeah for the for the next part uh, we will we will project normal uh, these curves onto our already ex existing design surfaces I'm selecting the uh, curves uh, first and then projecting normal onto surfaces and you see the curve on surfaces have been created but there are some uh, there are some curve on surfaces that are not wanted over there so I am kind of cleaning cleaning those by deleting them uh, there are a bunch of uh, any other curve on surfaces because I have I have uh, projected them onto onto one shot so that is why any on there is any other unrelated curves already projected onto onto the onto the other surfaces so i'm just kind of trying to clean them by deleting them and after after cleaning the um curve and surface layout i will use tubular offset tool uh, let's say three millimeter millimeter radius uh, from from a from each edge to uh to kind of decide the border of the patterns uh when when pattern hit that tubular offset uh, it will fade out in the end actually in the original design it is a uh, much uh, uh, wider area uh it, much wider area which is not patterned uh, but yeah, I just uh, in in the in the tutorial I have just used three millimeters because it was kind of easier than creating the one, and I'm extending back the uh, already existing curve on surface until they meet that uh, three millimeter uh, tubular offset to, to obtain um, to obtain this kind of uh, in the end this kind of clean curve on surface layout. Your curve on surface layout must be clean because we will we will use them to use skin in, uh, on the next step well in here i'm using skin tool u and y degree is just one so they are kind of uh, straight uh, rectangular surface actually twisting a little uh, not uh, not touching 100 percent on the surface at the moment we will do that on the next step uh, I will. Uh, I'm kind of creating these um, surfaces by using uh, those curve on surfaces, and I will do that all 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 all, all over the uh, edges. Yeah. There is the, there is misalignment over there, but I don't mind actually. I I, I knew I saw it, but it was kind of. Uh, it was not aligned but i was just never minding yeah this takes a while and this takes kind of requires kind of attention because they they are straight uh, rectangle uh, surfaces they are not uh, completing the um, curvatures of the curve on surfaces yeah pretty much like that in the in the beginning but we are getting there no worries we are getting there it is kind of tricky when when you end up finding yourself uh, use it by hand yeah i'm i am gonna hide 
those main surfaces and left with these uh, rectangular surfaces i have opened up the cvs before doing so control the or surface orientation and fix as as i fix over here because it is really important for the next step and i'm increasing the u degree over here to five or six five or six uh, it's like between because i am going to be edge aligning onto the onto those curve on surfaces by selecting g0 continuity now uh, our rectangular surfaces is is gonna pretend uh, capturing those uh, those curvature of the curve on surfaces yeah for, from from our from our main surface they are kind of begin to touch exactly onto our main surfaces uh, positional alignment uh, is not 100 percent important at this moment because we can always fill it on top of it to fix the problems yeah <laughs> not recommended by but uh, while creating this type of um, videos it's just always hard to uh, make everything 100% right so yeah this operation will go all the way down as well as g0 aligning onto curve on surface because those curve on surfaces are our reference uh, our reference edges that our pattern design will uh, will shape accordingly yeah they are not 100% the same as in as it is in the mouse but during the you can you can you can think like during the design phases uh, you can always change you can always touch and decide what it's going to look like by controlling the outer edge uh, layout of the base of the pattern surfaces as in the previous step yeah at this moment is getting real here i am kind of fixing those issue by controlling the end points of the alignment it's just g0 positional uh, edge align operation all the way down from left to the right it takes quite amount of time actually and it, it requires patience but yeah but this is totally this is totally a uh, game changer if you know how to do this uh even though these patterning uh, uh, pa this pattern designs requires a deep dive a grasshopper or dynamo knowledge without going there you can maybe try to find some solutions during the uh, surface design operations yeah before jumping to the grasshopper or dynamo which they are all really complex uh, softwares yeah well i, I don't think <laughs> there is any there's anything left to say from my side uh, until it goes on the from left to the right it's just same since this requires too much patience i i know you are kind of you're kind of getting bored um kind of <laughs> scratching your skin i know i know because i was doing the same we can uh we can let this video end pretty much over here uh for the next step maybe you can try to guess uh, how it's how it's going to shape um you can try something uh additional to this video and let's see on the next video what is the correct way to do yeah create the patterns yeah finally <laughs> finally i have managed do not mind the cv structure over here because it, it also requires man manual retouch over there but finally we are there our uh, surfaces our pattern surfaces mimics the uh they, they mimic our 
design surfaces yeah now we have yeah i'm just correcting some some uh, issues yeah we are ready for the next step i guess guys uh, thank you for watching until here and don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment below see you on the next one yeah let's see what happens yeah cheers bye bye